Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail. Last time we rammed the train into the wall. It was a dungeon. It had a really good song. I was actually very happy with that. I just could turn you down just a smidge. There we go, just a smidge. All right. But now we're here to find what in God's name is going on. Ertonville, the land of Levin. Ernerville looks upon Yaslani in disbelief. It doesn't make sense. That tower was always there. No, definitely not. Nor the wall over here or over there. The material is not something we use in Toral. It's closer to this, what we saw at the gate to the Golden City or those mechanical soldiers. Such a massive structure couldn't possibly have been built in a sh so short time. Then I'm inclined to assume we've been transported to another location, or perhaps. Well, speculation will avail us not. We need to learn more before we can draw conclusions. Is it in the case where um, it's fusing two places together? It's bringing maybe? That's a guess, though. Let's take a look around, then. Let's figure out what's happening here. Come on, Behemoth. Nice. Axe of Beak. Mm. Well, there's a town up ahead. Maybe there's actually people li a lot like living there. And they could tell us. Also, that's the final dungeon, probably. That thing? No, I think the final dungeon is going to be getting to the Golden City. This, though, it's our next dungeon easily. I haven't seen anyone so far. I recognize the lay of the land. It's definitely a Yasalani, and, and yet... The place is isolated by the dome, yet the skies are heavy with thunderclouds. The air oversaturated saturated with lightning is expected aether. This place is unnatural in a way I've never seen before. That looks like a train station, doesn't it? That must be Yasalani Station where the passengers disembarked. Then perhaps we'll meet someone to talk to there. Let's go and investigate. I got a feeling with how it's looking right now, we might not find people. Uh, it's only a guess. Such an interesting looking location. And that literally be in the focus of the location. It's so cool looking. Wait. Oh, I was gonna say, oh, there's people. Oh, they're players. Like I thought, no one's here. Ignore the other players. <laughs> I'm just gonna tune this. All right, before we talk to you, Wakulma, we'll actually work our way over. We'll start with Grahatia and see what he has to say. Amidst enormous, al enormous alien structures, we have more familiar sites like this station. Like I said, I think it's probably trying to fuse two locations into one. I see you. I might as well grab you while I'm over here. Oh. Alright, back we go. Also today, they officially released the raid in FF14. The Alliance, not the Alliance raid, the battle raid. Like I said, we won't be able to do it. I'm not level 100 and have to beat the story and all that. I, I know. A miss- oh, I already talked to you. 
Now, I talked to Alizé, haven't I? Uh, let me just double check. This is a water tower for trains, isn't it? I guess so. It's really weird that other players are just chilling here, doing their thing. It's like, hmm, Aaronville. It's fallen to despair, almost as if it has been used in decades. This is, must be his mother's house. But that is actually a good thing to point out. It looks like it hasn't been used in decades. Is this like a time dome? The Aetherite is a twirly design. That it is. Hmm. Welcome up. Well, hmm. I'm pretty sure this is Yasalani Station, but from the state of it, I'd swear it was abandoned years ago. I'm not sure what to make of this. We should look around a bit more. Yeah, that's the thing. It looks like it hasn't been touched in years. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, reflection on the window. Dilapidated building. The building is rotting, is a rotting husk. It has clearly been many years since anyone lived here. The problem is there's people here literally three days ago in game. Because they just dropped, the train dropped the people off. Hmm. Rusty train tracks. The tracks are heavily rusted. It would seem they haven't been tended to for a long while. Rusty train turntable. You find a train turntable. The thick layers of rust suggest it hasn't been used in years. Well, maybe the lightning expect Well, no. Hmm. I was gonna say, because lightning and all that, but... Oh wait, uh, uh, wait, a soldier! Fish Pokemon, have you? Let's gather everyone. I want you to take a look at this. Yeah, it's just standing there. It's one of those mechanical soldiers, long since broken, apparently. But I'd say its presence confirms this is indeed Zorilja's domain we're in. What about the rest of you? Did you learn anything? Everything's rusted and worn down. So all evidence suggests this is Yasalani Station. I, and I have no doubt we're in y Yasalani, but I don't understand why these buildings are so run down. They were completely barely... They were completed barely a year ago. Oh man, yeah. Mm, a year does not do this. For new structures to, to deter deteriorate and, uh, and enormous ones to appear in a flash. If I didn't know better, I'd say time flows differently here. Aha! I took that guess earlier. Time bubble. Is such a thing even possible? It's called Alexander. We have encountered a phenomena before, as it so happens. Yes, Alexander. And the Crystal Tower. Though it may di be difficult to believe, our world is but one of several. In some respects, they are similar to one another, but in others, wholly different. We call them reflections. Simply put, the rift between dimensions causes time to flow at a different pace in each world. While hours pass in one, years may have come and gone in another. This, uh, but if this is Yasalani, then we should still be in the source. The time, the, t the flow of time should be synchronized. Aye, but the sphere, the sphere's bringing in a different dimension. I'm not sure I follow this talk of reflections and dimensions, but if Aaronville says this is Yasalani, then it must be. Your village is a little further along, right? Aaronville. Oh, uh. 
Yes, yeah, just a short distance to the northwest. Let's head there next. Let's head there next then. Rather than talk theory, it's always better to confirm things firsthand. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, uh, assistance. It's still functioning? It doesn't seem to be hostile, at least. Perhaps we can ask it some questions. Can you tell us where we are? Unable to confirm credentials. <laughs> Please present citizen identification. Unable to confirm credentials. <laughs> confirm. <laughs> confirm. <laughs> and it's gone. Seems it's broken after all. T too strange by half. Let's leave it be and get going. Take its weapon. I want its weapon. Are those lightning rods? Hmm. Would you accompany me for a moment? There's something I wish to investigate. We're going down. Yasalani. Also, one thing I was thinking is, well, it wouldn't explain all these new structures popping up out of nowhere. All the old structures, maybe the uh, the ozone and all that from all the lightning is rusting things quickly. But that would also expect though. That would also would not explain the wood though. Sadly, also that is an outpost. Maybe look there. The lightning appears to be drawn to those pole-shaped structures over yonder. The design suggests there's some manner of lightning rod. Let's go take a closer look. Whoa, we in Final Fantasy Ten Thunder Plains now. Oh, you poor ugly monster, you. This material uh, appears to be in the same, the same as that used in the mechanical soldiers and warships. Uh, on closer inspection, it appears to bear fine etchings. Rather reminiscent of arcane runes, these. I suspect they're not merely decorative. I would post, I would post its uses to harness lightning as a source of energy. Quite an impressive technology. I'll share the observation with Yustola. For a blessing, the dome doesn't appear to interfere with Link Pearls. Thanks for accompanying me. Let's head to the village and find. Wait, you're saying Link Pearls communication still goes in and out? That is. Weird. Okay. You think even looking pearls would be jammed, but I guess not. Ah, this is his village, and yeah, it's not looking too good. If this is his village, of course. Let's stay vigilant. No sign of anyone. This is Aaronville's vi Oh, okay. I'm thinking back to the final boss of that dungeon. Did they capture everyone and make the mechanical soldiers? Oh, Aaronville. What in the world? I think they captured everyone and turned them into soldiers, like that guy, the serpent killer or whatever he was. Yeah, this village is in ruins. And then there's a mechanical soldier standing guard over there. Uh, 
Ah, oh, that's his home. My home. It's in ruins. But why? What happened here? And where is everyone? I had a look in a few of the other houses, but they had clearly been abandoned. Damn it all! None of this makes sense! Excuse me? Are you looking for someone? Wait, what? Wait, you're that weird chick, aren't you? Oh, yeah, it's that weird chick we saw when the town was being attacked. <laughs> I apologize for giving you a fright. However, Wait. I did have reason to keep to the shadows. One second. No, game, keep playing your music, because I immediately recognize that. Damn it, the game's not going to continue. Okay, to anyone wondering why I'm freaking out right now is that bit of music is from Final Fantasy IX and Serious Cutscenes. Do, 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 do. Except the drop down. Mmm, Final Fantasy IX music in my Final Fantasy game, eh? Okay. So Roger has told me a great deal about you. Sorocha. Greetings, and welcome to the realm of Alexandria. What? It doesn't look like it. I am Sphine, the Queen of Reason. I hear Final Fantasy IX music. Da -da -da -da. Queen of Reason? If you are the Queen of Reason, is there perhaps a... Yes, if you mean to ask if there is a king of resolve, Zorulja holds that title, and together do we reign. I mean, I like the Final Fantasy IX music, but I don't understand things right now. Then you are both behind the attack on Tulishola. I mean, I saw her, she clearly was not happy about the attack. And I doubt you're here to offer us a warm reception. No, you have it all wrong. I am not come to fight. Zorulja rules alongside me, but that is a matter of expedience. In truth, we are at odds, he and I. It is at considerable risk to myself and my people that I come before you to beg your aid. Our aid? I'll admit I cannot imagine King Zororja is keen to share and share alike, but if what you say is true, you're still the queen. Indeed, but I was once the sole ruler of Alexandria. My real name is Garnet. Until one day, he appeared, bent on conquest. In my weakness, I feared his power. So I persuaded him to forego violence and strike a bargain. I would remain queen, and he would receive technology that would empower him to achieve even loftier ambitions, along with the knowledge to use it. A gamble, to be sure, but if it might spare my people... If I may, the dome surrounding these lands was erected but recently. How is it he was able to not only invade, 
but instate a new system of leadership in a mere matter of days. I've never heard of your realm. And this place is, or at least was, Yasulani. The house I grew up in is still here. But three years ago, that tower and these strange contrivances were it. Nor was our village in ruins. Where did you come from? And what happened to the people who lived here? You must know! I realize how confusing this all must be. Truth be told, I don't fully understand it myself. What I can say is that one day, people from your Tuliolol suddenly appeared here in Alexandria. Or perhaps it was we who found ourselves in Tuliolol. Until but recently, we were completely unaware of events taking place beyond the barrier surrounding our realm. Does this not remind you of the Crystal Tower? How, after the Eighth Umbral Calamity, we devised a means to transport the Spire across time and space from the Source unto the First. Granted, this is on a much larger scale, if that is indeed what has happened. Not only the people and structures, but also the surrounding environment. Regardless, the people of Lakeland perceived the arrival of the Crystal Tower much as the Queen describes her own experience. Sudden and inexplicable. Well then, you appear to have a better grasp of our circumstances than we do. Indeed, more than I dared hope. In which case, a closer examination of the effects of this phenomenon may afford us more insights. Allow me to take you to the outskirts. A number of the Shatona live there as well. Perhaps your acquaintances are among them. Hold on. If we accept, there's no guarantee we're not walking into a trap. But if we're to defeat Zorolja, we need to understand how he grew so strong. Besides... He activated his trance. I swear if they call it that, I'm gonna laugh. Ah, oh, you're right. Queen Sphine, before we go, Your Majesty, I have to ask, did you really have nothing to do with the attack on Tulihyolan? Noble Wook Lamart, shall we dispense with the formalities? I'll not deny the soldiers and airships that attacked your people are products of Alexandria. But it was Zorolja, not we, who fashioned them into weapons of war and laid siege to Tuliolo. The Alexandria I know is a very... A so small, he alone is to blame. Well, a big fantasy medieval world. No, no very technological I advanced. may not have prosecuted this war, but I nevertheless bear responsibility for it. Perhaps. I know next to nothing about you, let alone what you've been through. So by all means, show us around. I think we'll learn a lot from meeting your people. <gasps> Wonderful! If you would follow me! Something weird I noticed, man, they really worked on her facial animations, didn't they? Isn't it a little odd for the queen to be walking about on her lonesome? I am actually very curious about this. <laughs> Is that concern or suspicion? How about both? If things should take a turn for the worse, might I call upon your aid? Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> I jest, of course. But you do strike me as the most capable here. Hmm. Now the question is... I, there's Final Fantasy IX music there, so it must be the same Alexandria from FF9. The problem is... Once I checked, it's not that technologically advanced. This is going to be far, far in the future. I think it goes without saying, but we're not going to trust her just like that, right? Anyway, you look at a mysterious girl who appears out of nowhere, proclaiming herself a queen is suspicious. True. The eighth humble calamity. All right, a royal welcome. Alize is inclined to keep a close eye on the queen. Well, well, having established that we should be wary, we could use more information. So let's head to the place on the out, the place, the outskirts, and see what we can learn. Perhaps about Sphine as well. Sphine, weird name. Yeah, this looks like the Alexandria I know. Man, I wanna know what caused my Alexandria to go down like this. Why, so they all in that town? Did it ever keep ward? A most unusual farm, but it, but the produce appears normal enough. Have you ever seen such strange contraptions? I wonder what this one's used for. Reminds me of the moon. It's a relief to see people here at wa as well, our wallet at least. Innovations of Alexandria, nothing short of extraordinary. Those brick buildings. I've seen them there like before, though I can't remember where. I trust you have similar farming facilities in Tyrol. They're completely different from ours, but... I've got, I've got an idea what all those machines do. We settled on this approach after some trial and error. The Tiroli have their own methods of farming, which they want to continue employing. But the environment makes it challenging. There's too much rain and not enough light. Thankfully, the use of the Electrope has allowed us to fortify the buildings here, as well as provide what nature cannot. Electro... what? Electrope. It's a material we use for my... M myriad devices and applications. A topic for another time, perhaps. If you follow me, we're nearly to the outskirts. Which has a crystal with my name on it. Oh, Ryan Big Boy today. So what, is it trying to block the rain coming in? Oh, wait. Oh, there's someone to talk to. Oh, you. Fellow human. The lamps seem to be about the correct brightness. Now to check the crop and see whether adjustments are needed. Well, he looks normal. Oh. Okay. Yeah, now we're entering normal town territory. We are in the ever people. Oh, the outskirts. Okay, there it is. All right. It's a rather, rather lively settlement, isn't it? In defiance of this ceaseless gloom, almost. It's a relief to see people here are well. Hopefully, the same can be said for everyone in Yasalani. It's fascinating how they've combined traditional bricklaying with electro-based engineering. A curious blending of two cultures. I'll admit, I've seen nothing particularly suspicious yet. This is Tanawata village, or at least it was before the dome and these strange contraptions. Okay. Aaron, Will, I think you're gonna find your mom. Oh my god, the music! Here we are. Though you'll doubtless find much of what you see in Alexandria strange, 
The traditional agriculture practiced in this village at least should be familiar. I really like Final Fantasy IX music, okay? Da, 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 da. This song would appear at slower parts of the game. Where everyone's just chill, it's not- Queen Sphine? Oh. What business brings her here, I wonder? Why do they have those things on their head? The Queen has come! You look well, Paquine. Katonye, I see you've already taken to your new position. Someone please question things on When she on their introduced head. herself as queen, I was expecting someone colder. Honestly, she reminds me of you, Namachi. Me? It's only natural for a ruler to love her people. And I should like to know them as best I can, even the most trifling details. Those are brainwashing devices, aren't they? Because you're giving me creep vibe now. The more you come to know them, the more you grow to love them. Who they are and what they've built. That's it. Beautifully put. And it would appear that she is well loved in turn. Your Majesty, <laughs> you honor us with your presence. And who are these fine people? Tuliolol's vow of resolve, Wuk Lamart, and her companions. They come from beyond the barrier, but you needn't worry. They are good people and are to be treated as my honored guests. Yeah, I'm starting not to like this. The rumors of a link to the outside are true then. Wook Lamont is still so young. Oh, where are my manners? I am Popone, a leader of sorts of the people living out here. Pony, that is a ton of water and rig to it. Right, you are. I take it you hail from this region as well, Teshpiani, perhaps. Yes, I do. I don't suppose you know a woman by the name of Kafkiwa. Kafkiwa. Hmm. I'm afraid I'm not sure if I've ever met someone with that name. Oh. Mother isn't here. But it's a relief to know at least some of the people of Yasulani are alive and well. Your mother, you say? Uh-oh. Now that you mention it, I do see the resemblance. She has crazy eyes. You know my mother? I do. Yes. Then tell me, please. Where is she? I cannot say. Not here, but I promise I will in due time. I have a question, Pepone. Do you recall what happened the day the dome first appeared? Uh, the barrier? Well, um... I remember fixing a shelf that had collapsed after a terrible earthquake. Then the ground began to tremble, there was a brilliant flash of light, and then... <clears throat> Forgive me, my recollection of it all is rather poor. You needn't push yourself, Papone. After 30 years, no one could blame you for not remembering. 
It's been 30 years! 30 years? As in 30 years in the past? Absurd though it may sound, there is no doubt in my mind the events that led to the joining of our lands occurred 30 years ago. Oh dear. Which is not to say I understand why our perceptions of the intervening time are so radically different. We only just became aware of the discrepancy when Zoraljar's military base was completed and we were at last able to venture beyond the barrier. Does that mean right now time's going really fast for us? Oh, so he- I believed you long dead. To have the chance to kill you myself is an unforeseen blessing. Oh. So he spent 30 years getting ready and thought his father died long ago. 30 years? Little wonder Zoroja assumed our father had already passed away. It's not unlike how time passes differently in the first and the source. The fluctuating space of the rift between them disrupting temporal equivalence. Perhaps the same holds true here, and time flowed faster within the dome. So yeah, actually I'm not gonna worry about this, meaning that this is a piece of another reflection. It's trying to invade the source in a way. I cannot say for certain, but I strongly suspect that to be the case. And based on the Queen's account, this encampment may have come to serve as a physical bridge between the two planes, after which the dome was forced into the source's temporal flow. If we're to be certain of anything, we need more information. Sveen, would it be all right if we had a look around and spoke with the townspeople? By all means. Time to see what we can see of Alexandria then. Hmm. So that explains why all the buildings and everything are in such dismay. It's been 30 years. And its people. I may yet find familiar faces among the survivors from Yasolani. Even if I don't understand the half of it, I would learn more of this place before we confront Zoroja. Oh man, if Kona was here, he'd pick up on us. Perhaps you'd care to see how we make our living. Though we have always prided ourselves on the use of traditional Tonawatan farming methods, the use of electro fuel technologies has led to countless agricultural innovations. I would join you as well. Ma'am, please, you needn't trouble yourself. It's no trouble at all, and I promise not to cause any manner of distraction. Reassuring words, or they would be had I not heard them countless times before. <laughs> Very well, but do be careful. Of course. I shall proceed with the utmost care. Hmm. Now then, if you two would follow me, we can begin the tour. I can't say that I trust her yet, but I trust that her affection for these people is genuine, and that's enough for me. Hmm. So, originally I thought she was brainwashing them, because, wow, how quickly they are to actually thinking of her as a queen and all that. And so, 30 years went by. Yeah, we explain why they actually like her. Oh, look at that. That looks cool. Huh. Excellent. Uh, is there a shop? I mean, there's a junk monger. 
Okay, I can purchase weapons for you. What do we have? Nas good. I'm curious, what do you look like? Oh, that looks really nice, actually. Do I need any equipment? Let's see. What? Really? That's... Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Why not? We're gonna try this entire set. Oh, it's the set I've been getting the entire time. Okay. Wow. I don't like it. <laughs> Doctor Shocker? Oh, wait, what level? What level is the armor, actually? 96. Okay, so I won't be able to wear it with my say. Oh, actually, I can. One second. Hello, ma'am. I'm actually here to buy stuff from you now. Apparently not. Well, what's it look like? I do not like it. Oh, I should at least check the weapon. Oh, well. But yeah, the reason why I keep saying I don't trust her is originally, like I said, I thought she was brainwashing them, but now 30 years makes sense. It keeps giving me crazy eyes, man. Boring farmlands of the queen of another nation is not how I expected to spend my day. Electrope has done much to improve the efficiency of their farming, but hasn't replaced everything. The people want to preserve their old way of life, and we did not want to fate force ours upon them. We went to such lengths so that our cultures could coexist, even going so far as to learn our tongue. I'm sure everyone expected that. Communication was thankfully not an issue, for the Turali tongue is surprisingly similar to Alexandrian. Of course, there are words and phrases for which there are no equivalent, but those could be taught with minimal effort. Through mutual respect, understanding, and patience, we Alexandrians and Turali have learned a great deal from one another. And I'm sure there is much you wish to learn as well, so please, if you have questions, do not hesitate to ask. Okay. Got an itch in my eye. Okay. Hmm. Tart Tarali Tart. A day in the life. Sphine is eager to show you around. Rather than bore you a lengthy explanations, let's head back to the farm we passed earlier. Yippie's Halo is, is called. We can speak with one of the farmers when we arrive. I guess we're off to Yippie's Halo. All right. <clears throat> And jump. What do you suppose they keep in this building? Here we are. I'm sure you'll learn a great deal from the workers here. Alright. Let's see what they have to say. Allow me to introduce you to Mahu... Mahuasi. Ma Mahuasa. One of the most experienced farmhands in all Alexandria. She's well versed in myriad farming techniques. Indeed, the wealth of knowledge she has shared with the other farmers is what has allowed this place to flourish. Queen's Fiend, to what do I owe this sudden shower of praise? My apologies for the interruption. I am come with guests from beyond the barrier. They wish to learn more of Alexandria, and so I invited them here to see how our crops are grown. I do hope that's all right. So the rumors of visitors from the outside were true. What manner of hosts would what manner of hosts would we be to deny them to look around? 
And I gather your majesty would also intend to check on things here. You know me too well, Ma Mahawasa. I though... I though to seize the opportunity to see how the farmers fare, and perhaps pepper them with a few questions. Though I do so enjoy observing and taking part in the work too. To what appeared, we have our permission. So please, walk around the grounds to your heart's content. You go on ahead, I'll keep Sphine company. Don't misunderstand, I'm not, I'm not the suspicious type. But given our positions, it wouldn't it would make sense for us to go around together, wouldn't you say? A fair point, but be sure not to let me out of your sight. I shall remain under Wucklemuck's watchful eye. Pray come find us after you've seen your fill and spoken with other farmhands. Okay. Thirty years old. Yeah, I'm curious. Oh, you have an interest in our farmland. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Tell about yourself. Oh, you want to know about me? There's not much to tell, but I'm Yo-Yo Pekin. I've always had fondness for growing things, and I've gotten quite good at cooking various types of produce. I can also tell how fresh vegetables are just by looking at them. What kind of place is this? This is Yapoli's Yab Halo, an important part of life here in the outskirts. I work alongside Shalo Shaloki, who runs the place, and we cultivate a variety of vegetables here. With the help of the electro technology, we make the most of things, make the most of what the land has to offer, and suppose this call home. All right. Getting some umbral static. Don't ask questions. Elias. Elias. Light levels, okay. Hmm, you wish no more of a job. I tend to the field mostly, watering the crops and keeping the soil fertile and so on. I immediately took some time until I... It immediately took me some time until, until I fully understood how best to carry out my duties. I also manage the lamps we use on the fields. We do our best to keep everything up to code. But should they ever start to malfunction, it's up to me to fix them. The land and sky begin... Wait. Be oh, sorry. Being what they are, ensuring a rich harvest makes for constant work. Honestly, I enjoy how involved the process is. Both my parents, being Alexandrian, I didn't grow up knowing much of anything about farming. Every day is an opportunity to learn and grow. Heineck. Yeah, Heineck. Oh, an unfamiliar face. I gather this is your first time on site, then. Well, this here... This here is the storehouse, or rather the entrance. The real storehouse is underground, much more spacious, and equipped with a temperature regul regulation system to keep the harvest from spoiling. Since the entrance is so small, it's much easier to pre pre uh, prevent wild bees from wandering inside. Which also makes it a viable facility for breeding and raising livestock. We even got a few beds down there for emergencies. My parents often complain about how Alexandria and technology and Electro complicate our lives, but it's just a matter of uh, learning and how things work. Take my job, for instance. I'm, present, I'm presently overseeing the storage of harvested crops. They'll be taken to the tower for processing, and from there they'll... Uh, find their way to every dining table in Alexandria. The work is hard, I'll not deny it, but I take great satisfaction why we do. Hmm. So far, everyone's happy with what they're doing. Kip away. They're saying that you and yours are visitors from beyond the barrier, that true? Why, yes it is. Dodo! So it is. Which means we're connected to the outside world again. Not that I desire to leave, mind you. I'm quite content with my life here in Alexandria. 
But setting that aside, you're here to observe our work, right? As you can see, I'm in charge of livestock. Here in your piece Halo, we produce not only fruits and vegetables, but also meat, poultry, and eggs. Tending the animals is an absolute joy, but I have to be careful not to grow attached. It's always a little sad to see when they're shipped off, but a job's a job. Well, I need to get back to it. Well, it was nice talking to you. Please give my regards to the queen. Okay. Everyone loves what they're doing. Hmm. I can't help but still feel suspicious. Like, Sphin has crazy eyes. Alright, I'm here. It's a shame Kona's not here to see all these bizarre cr contraptions. Oh, Kona would have loved it. I see. Don't be too hard on yourself. Anyone would have been hard pressed to deal with such a thing. Oh, welcome back. My apologies for failing to notice your return. I gather you've had your fill of speaking to the farmers? Well, let's return to Mahawasi. Awaso. Wawasa. So something's happened, but what? Hmm. Well, what are your impressions of the farm? Um, I'm amazed that everyone loves their work. A curious observation. Do you not love your own work? I don't have a job in this game. Well, I guess technically my job is Gumbreaker. Oh, but I guess it's true that the people of the outskirts seem the most fulfilled. Always, they take their duties with good cheer. And what do you think of our little tour, Lama T? What did you call me? What is that appropriate? My apologies. I heard the others calling you by that name, and I thought... No, no, it's fine. As you said before, we've no need for talk. No. No one in our group, since we got in here, has called her Lama T. Hmm... Or did they? I don't remember. As for my thoughts, I was very impressed. The machines could be used to overcome so so harsh an environment is amazing. I've never seen anything like it. The feeling is understandable. Indeed. I may still find the machinery behind me baffling. It's a system that controls the distribution of water for the fields and livestock. It's been acting up lately, though. Acting up, you say? You needn't worry, my queen. It happens fairly often. Put simply, it's taken in water and that... Oh, sorry. Put simply, it's taken in water that had a strong lightning charge. We think some creatures have became charged up with the energy, and they're releasing it into the river we use as a source. The system would return to normal if the creatures were dealt with, but I'm reluctant to my beg and but I'm reluctant to beg it of the army. She's gonna tell me to do it. Yeah, oh no, no. We could take care of it if you like. That'd be most gracious of an offer. Uh for oh, sorry, jeez, I can't read again today. This is most gracious of you to offer, but it's much too dangerous. Oh, it's no trouble for the vow resolve of Tuliolo. Regardless of how the relationships between our nations may develop, if there are people in need, I want to help. Simple as that. Invader is even stronger than I am. It shouldn't take us too long at all. Then, very well, I grace gracefully accept. Please take care all. Mm-hmm. This ought to be go any f uh, this ought to go faster if you and I search for lightning charge fiends on our own. Good home. 
All right, get a little warm up today. All right. Well, immediately there's a marker right here. Destination. So I, I know that some of the changes they did is they just a lot of moves like monk got a lot of things holy cow I don't play monk really so I don't know if I like or hate those but one is my dash mood now creates amenity I miss rough drive the one that used to actually deal damage though and it took away rough drive and replaced it with trajectory which then did no amenity had two charges, and now it has amenity. Great Google Dance. <laughs> I'm back, crazy eyes. Ah, you're both all right. Thank goodness. You really hadn't. Nah, you really needn't have worried so much. We barely broke a sweat dealing with the fiends. They're all gone now. Of course I was worried. You're my dear guest. But thank you, we truly appreciate this. Indeed, with this, we won't have to ask Zoroja's machines for help. He's been making a concentrated effort to bolster his forces, sparing but a few... But a, a, sorry, sparing but a fraction for the people's protection. He thinks nothing of our safety, unlike Queen Sphine. <laughs> That's enough, Mahwasi. If I have any grievances, I will hear them later, but to speak of the king now. No, she's right. He's never been one to look after his people. Anyway, thanks for letting us tour the farm. The folk here are delightful, and it's pleasant to meet them. You couldn't have favored us with more uplifting words my people's my people are my pride and joy and you never fail to let us know nor how much you care of course you're my precious family all of you 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 seem a good sort sphine uh, that i'll admit well you forgive me if i'm not ready to lower my guard for the enemy queen just yet <laughs> For you to call to be called that, I dread to imagine what villainy your majesty has committed. Come now, this is no laughing matter. A ruler is responsible for the welfare of her countless lives, and one wrong decision can lead to untold suffering. Failures unque un unconsequential. She has dark, dead eyes there. Now, I believe we are done with the farm. Let's move on, shall we? Not normal, I'm telling you.
You can't lower my guard with Final Fantasy IX music. But you have tried, and you failed. On the cloud, Sveen would take you back to the outskirts. Perhaps we should head back to the outskirts. I dare say your friends will also have returned by now. I thanks again for dealing with the fiends. Come and visit us anytime. Uh-huh. And mount up. Oh! Okay, I wasn't expecting this one. Say hello to the chair. I forget where I got this. I actually do forget. It is just a chair. It does fly, though. There's so much Alexandria. I'd love to show you. Do you hear that? No. I'm gonna have to sip my drink real quick. What's happening over there? I don't know. Who got in trouble? It's nearly time. What? Alize, Graha, don't think you want to be here. I'm glad you could make it. Oh, it's her! Are you with us? Queen Sphine has come to see you. Is that the mate? Is that the... It is there, the bracelet! You're here, Namika. Everything is going to be all right. Oh, oh. What's the matter, dear? Oh, no. Oh, wait. Come on. Notice it. Yes. It can't be. That's the bangle I gave to Namika. You know her? Of course I know her. She was like a mother to me. I see. She was always willing to lend a kindly ear to others, but rarely did she ever speak of herself. Is it... Is it really you? Oh, is she sick? She must have arrived shortly before the barrier manifested. For us, it was perhaps days, but... For her... Oh... Namika, it's me! Wuklamat! I'm afraid her time with us is nearly at an end. Has she no more soul cells? She always used hers sparingly, but at her age, it wouldn't make a difference. Ma'am, the ushers have arrived. Soul cells. Are those things they extracted from the people when they attacked us? Is that what they're called? Soul cells? Uh oh, are they about to take her out? Like. Oh, yeah, she's. Thank you, Namika, for your many years of friendship. Take comfort in the knowledge that this is not the end. Oh, yeah, she's going through the Be big pasture. Afraid. Your memory will live on in us. Living on in memory. The giants share a similar belief. The 
Mika's going to the great farm in the sky. Wait, where are you taking her? Worry not. She is being escorted to a medical facility in the tower. There, we will ease her burden. I had hoped to make arrangements for her sooner, but she wished to remain here for as long as possible. I could not bring myself to refuse her. Is there any way I might stay with her for a little while longer? We may not share the same blood, but she was my mother. Peace. Let us give them some time alone. I swear if she actually talked and was like, they're horrible, except I extremely doubt it. Hold her hand. Comfort her. Oh, don't go away. Oh, damn. I want more feels. Go back. She didn't speak, but I'm grateful that I could be with her at the end. Thank you. It's not the end. Hmm? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking that we have much to discuss. Where shall we begin? With what we can be reasonably certain of, perhaps. Between what we have witnessed and the testimony of Alexandria's inhabitants, it's safe to say that two distinct lands have indeed become one. Hmm. What's more, having met Namika, there is no denying the divergence in the passage of time. Taken together, these phenomena strongly suggest that some manner of cross-rift displacement has occurred. So, real quick, so the sad thing about all that is, is Namika, without knowing it, went back home. The eruption happened. And she lived for 30 years, which is like three or four days our time. Wanting to see Waklama again. And waited until she couldn't function. Which is extremely sad. That's all. Specifically, the displacement of Alexandria from another reflection to the source. It does seem the most likely explanation. What perplexes me, however, is the scale of said displacement. It far exceeds what could conceivably be achieved with a void gate, or even with the crystal tower. In essence, we are dealing with a localized instance of dimensional compression. The Asians would no doubt liken it to a rejoining. Which invites the question, how was such a feat accomplished? I wish that I had an answer for you, but this talk of reflections and dimensions is well beyond my understanding. I can only tell you that we lived peacefully under the barrier's protection for many, many years. Until the day that peace was suddenly broken. If I may clarify, the barrier predates Alexandria's displacement. By several hundred years, yes. To when the continent we call home was ravaged by a devastating cataclysm. Uh, the that... barrier was erected to isolate us from the surrounding land's innocuous influence. Would that happen to be after we kill the world that uh, I see. Thing? 
And it was only later that it was whisked away, along with its contents by means unknown. No, I'm trying like it would now, and I doubt it. In other words, Steen's as lost as the rest of us, right? The Alexandrians didn't mean to end up in Tural. But of course, our next stop ought to be Everkeep, that tower over yonder. Once you have been registered as my guests, you will have access to Solution 9 oh and its residential God. district, where you will doubtless gain invaluable insight into Alexandria's Solution state of affairs. Solution 9 is a name Zidane can do in 9. Unfortunately, I cannot take you directly to where Zoraljar resides. That you'd let us in it all goes a long way toward proving you're not content to let Zeralja do as he pleases. But we're not talking about a simple difference of opinion here. I've come to avenge my father. And to do so, I intend to take Zeralja's life. Are you willing to stand by and allow Alexandria's king to be slain? Yes. A fair question. Permit me to answer it thus. My people come first. Their welfare is paramount. I will do everything in my power to keep them from harm. It is a ruler's duty. to register you at Everkeep. It may take some time, but you shall find the entrance open to you in due course. Oh, and ere I forget, your mother, Kafkiwa, you might try the Thunder Yards to the east. The Thunder Yards? Is that where she is? I am afraid I can say no more than that. Make for the Thunder Yards, and all will be made clear. It's not as if we have other pressing business. Am I going to Not until we can get into this Everkeep, anyway. Thank you for earlier, and for being a friend to Namika these past 30 years. It means a lot to me. Namika? I'm sorry, but I don't know who you mean. They wipe their memory of all the ones who pass. Oh. Oh, there it is. I knew something was up. What? We were just with her. If this is some sort of a joke, it isn't funny. They're turning their memories. I don't mean to give offense, but I honestly have no idea who you are talking about. I'm sorry. How can you not know who she is? You're in charge here. She was under your care. Then in all likelihood, my memories of her have been stored in the cloud. Oh, wait, what? Any person seemingly forgotten without reason is probably there in the cloud. Oh god, we're bringing the internet. Oh, I really must be getting back to work. If you'll excuse me. the little messed up twist I was waiting for. It's 
very unsettling. Well, we, we'll see how it goes with the other people. As far as I can tell, Pepone genuinely had no recollection of Namika. I've never seen or heard of anything like this before. What's going on? How could Pepona suddenly forget about Namiga? It's as if he never knew her. Could, could the same thing have happened to the others as well, I wonder? There's only one way to find out. Let's make inquiries about Namika in the area and reconvene afterwards at the Aetherite. Yeah, I'm gonna say yes. 100%. When someone's time comes and they bring the tower to ease their burdens, they then store that memory in the cloud and then everyone goes on like nothing's happened. So if someone disappears one day, well, they never existed. An old woman named, oh, an old woman named Namika. I'm afraid I don't know that person. I'm sorry, I couldn't help you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's see, the building she was at, not even, let's say, 10 minutes ago. Hmm, I do recall caring for someone until recently, and you say that it was a woman named Namika. While I can't say for certain it was her, I wouldn't worry. I'm sure she's just being taken up to the cloud. Yeah, that sounds great. I would love to be taken up to the cloud. Do I know a Namika? Never met anyone by the name. I've worked at the outskirts for a good while now. If she spent some time here, I would remember her. Yeah, in other words, everyone forgets. Is that her wait, is that her way of easing the pain and the burdens of her loyal subjects, her family? I think that's her way of keeping them comfortable and happy. But I don't know. Hmm. So it was the same for everyone. Not a single person remembers Namika. It's as if the memory of her has been purged from their minds. While such a thing might have been be done with magic, to alter the memories of so many at once would be a tremendous undertaking. It would have felt a surge in Aether corresponding to the act too, and I sense none of it in the moment. Neither did I, but I know something else. Right before Pepona seemingly forgot, a lightened device on his head began to blink. Could there be a connection? Someone also said something about soul cells. But who would we ask about this? If we continue making such inquiries, I expect we to only cause confusion. Indeed. If we can't readily solve the mystery of Namika, perhaps we could search for Kachia instead. It's being said to try the Thunder Yards. It'd be in this direction. Hmm. Wait, I saw that. Wait, I, I just noticed that there's a fate. Oh. <laughs> Impossible. I. Um. Another kind of mechanical soldier? It looks dangerous. We better destroy it. Uh, yeah, how about we don't destroy it? It's running away from us. I think it's going to tell us something. <laughs> Do we give chase? I think I understood our words. It might be worth asking some, uh, some questions. Aaron, are you alright? You look like you see a ghost. It's nothing. I'm fine. 
Well, it went off in that direction we're heading anyway, so let's try and track it down. Is his mother's consciousness put in the robot? If so, oh boy, that's gonna be a little messed up. All right. The Thunder Place. Oh, hi, Alize. What are you doing? It's faster than it looks. I got a feeling it might be his mom's consciousness in that robot. I do not see it. No sign of it over here. Walk them up. Why are you looking at the dodos? Nothing but birds over here. That voice, could it be? Yep, okay, yeah, the mother is either the consciousness of the mother's in the robot, or she's controlling it. Maybe it's, she's controlling the robot? I doubt it. This place is a little more twisted. Going in that cave. You found it. It ran into the cave up there. The northeast. Then it must be bound for the mines. Come on then. It could be it could well be a trap, so let's not rush in too quickly. Judging by the response to that robot, don't think it's a trap. Thunder Spirit. Alright, everyone, now guide us. You stay in back. The stones in those crates. Could it be turquoise? An old coal mine it appears to have long since been, uh, been abandoned, like so many other places. I think it's safe to assume it went into the mines. So, what here? I hear a faint voice come from inside, so it's not alone. But we're going, but we're still going in, of course. Maybe a trap. You're ready to fight everyone. I think it's your mother. Hey, if you yourself are saying the voice is familiar, I think it's your mother, man. It's been 30 years, even though Vieira can live a long time. It would appear no one has worked in these tunnels for quite some time. Level 97 bad, nice. I'm not worried. We have to improvise countless times before, after all. Might as well get this while I'm here. A device made with electro. It seems to be the only one here. The tunnel just keeps going. I can hear them. Several people up ahead. Hmm, I can't make out their conversation with the echoing. Let's keep going. Stay on your guard. I'm curious. Am I right? My guess.
Oh god, you got high pitchy there. My darling, what now? Yeah, uh, same. What? Fussy little bun bun. <laughs> I'm using the line. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> I don't think you expect his mother to be a computer monitor. I know that laugh anywhere. Mother? Wait, wait, wait. Since when was your mother a weird floating thing? Apparently 20, 30 years ago? I don't know. And what have we here? Say, aren't you Galoo Jaja's kid? I knew I recognized that adorable fuzzy face. <laughs> Ellen Espier was always so excited whenever you invited him over to play. You remember me, I hope. I can't say that I do, but you know my father? Appearances notwithstanding, it would seem this is my mother, Kafkiwa. I'm sorry? Yeah, no, I don't know. Oh, but this won't do. Come in, come in! Friends of my illness peer are always welcome. All I ask is a little forewarning, but no. <laughs> Everyone's going back doing their things. They're like, God damn it. <sighs> False call. Okay, immediately I like the mother. Just when I thought I was starting to get a handle on this place. How are things still getting stranger? I don't know. I learned to call people my moody, my little bun bun. Well, uh, we fit your mother. Elegans have machines that can control remotely. Is she used something similar to communicate with us? Oh, I have no idea. I thought her subconsciousness was in that for a second. I can't say I understand what's going on, but at least Kachia is safe. At this point, I doubt anything could possibly surprise me. Airbound's mother is a floating machine. Right, that makes as m about as much sense as everything else thus far. Might. This is the theme! The thief theme! In FF9, this will be the theme of the Tartarus gang, if I remember correctly. It plays every now and then. Oh, it's a jazzy tiff or take to it, though. Nice. I... Mm, I know my FF9 music. As far as I can tell, this is indeed my mother. I can think of a few people in the world quite so spirited, but 
As to what happened, we'll have to ask her. Gone and forgotten. Aaronville's conflicted by this long faded reunion. Yeah, I think we all would be. Let's hear what she has to say. Hello, mother dearest. So, you want to tell us about this? It's so wonderful to meet you all. As a student of Baldassian, it... Yeah, it's been a while since I heard that name. Dare I ask the reason for your appearance? Oh, this is just a body that I control remotely. I use this for our operations. Oh, okay, she actually has a body. Oh, okay. We're members of the Resistance Organization, Oblivion, we call ourselves, and our goal is to thwart Zorja, Zorja's ambitions for conquest. Oblivion. As a leader, it's prudent that I remain here where I can't be found e easily found. I see, whimsical appearances notwithstanding, yours is a serious cause. Right you are. Though, truth be told, Oblivion is founded for an altogether different purpose. And that is... As I expected, you probably noticed everything you see within this dome. The buildings, the people, and the very earth beneath our feet is a fusion of two worlds. Stopping such a fusion was Oblivion's original mission. Then... Does that mean you know who or what is responsible for it? I'm afraid not. This is a long time ago and our mission statement has become more of a legend that's passed down to members. By the time we joined, our sole objective was stopping Zorolja. But we failed to do that. Now he's taking his army outside the dome. Also, I noticed they don't have those weird things on their heads. Oh, well, okay, okay, I guess uh, Walk Lamont's gonna just mention that now. Steal that from me, why don't you? None of you wear those strange devices on your head. Does that have something to do with your work? You mean this? It's a regulator, the pinnacle of electrope technology, and that we don't wear is indeed related to our operations. What exactly does it do? Allow me to explain. I like your eye patch and your outfit. Regulators have two primary functions. The first, as the name suggests, is the reg it's it's the regulation of the wearer's reserve of souls. Should they die, the regulator expands a soul to bring them back to life. Expends. Reserve. You mean people walk around carrying spare souls? Would uh, that would explain Zorolja. They do. Souls are packaged in cells, and they can be used to replenish the life force of that is lost due to sudden death, such as an accident. They do nothing for those who die of old age, though. Distribution of soul cells is based on one's work evaluation to encourage exemplary performance when fulfilling their duties, and which is why everyone's happy with their jobs. Very happy. Souls as a common resource and payment for services rendered. The void set practice of consuming others for their aether comes to mind. And similar similarly, I expect that the act comes with some risk. Ah, Zero. Yeah, I skipped all your cutscenes, so I don't really know anything about you.
Uh, what in the consciousness of others corrupt your own? I don't know. Like I said, I skipped those because by then Dawnbreaker was out, Dawn Trail. I'm like, I want to get to it. This is the prevent. That is prevented through the memory management, a process in which regulators also play a role. Memory management? Then the reason everyone has forgotten Namaki's existence. The regulators are constantly recording the memories of the wearer, so if they should suddenly die, their memories could be refreshed as part of the restoration process. This is how they pres preserve one identity and self, sense of self. However, the regulators are also triggered when someone else dies. The reason being is the regulators forcibly extract memories relating to the deceased from anyone wearing one. Meaning she died and those memories came out. Why would they do such a thing? It's a kindness bestowed of- Yeah, I knew it! They were gonna say it was kindness! They always do that. I'm trying to think of another game that did that, where they took away the memories of someone as an act of kindness. Oh, well. It's a kindness bestowed upon the people of Everkeep's core system, so that no one has to suffer the pain of loss. So, this is what is meant by their memories being in the cloud. Indeed, all memories of the deceased are wiped from their minds of the people and archived in the system. It's a frightening function of the regulators, and an integral, integ integral step in soul cell production. Which we saw some souls get extracted in town. Oh, oh, we're about to get the full explanation. Oh, he just died. You see, when a person dies of natural causes, their soul is temporarily housed within the regulator. In the time delivered to the facility where memories are separated from the souls. We saw that. We know what that is, we've seen it. The result is a fresh soul cell free of impurities, ready to for distribution and consumption. Okay, now we're gonna see this example when he dies. Or not. Meanwhile, the memories are stored in the core system to be remembered forever. And this is why people are happy here. On its surface, it's similar to the Yakoi philosophy, but I see nothing noble or comforting in it. Well, it doesn't seem so terrible to me personally. All comes down to what you're used, used to, I suppose. Like the barrier encasing Alexandria, this system was created to overcome the calamity that transformed the world hundreds of years ago. Amidst the mounting death toll, scientists used Electro to devise a means to save what lives they could so the nation could endure. I understand the people of Alexandria did what they believed was best to save their people. I just find it hard to believe that Tiroli would also accept this way of living. Well, it's been 30 years. It also came as shock as, uh, to us as well. In fact, a great many were opposed to it. Which is why the use of the regulators was never compulsory. The people have always been free to go without them if they wish. 
Bean didn't strike me as a sore ruler to impose her will on others. Ah, so you met already. I mean, she did point us in this direction. She's the one who suggested we come to the Thunder Yards in the first place. She also said she wants to help us stop Zorolja. Awfully kind of her to point you in my direction, and to speak so candidly as well. Whatever her motives, she has given the people a choice. Live with the risk of true death, or the security of the regulators. Everything that lives must die someday. This is the natural order of things. Quite right. But however you feel about them, it would be easier to understand what the regulators are capable of if you saw for yourself. I know just the person to show you, and as luck would have it, they should be starting work right about now. Are you gonna kill someone while they're working? What else are we going to see exactly? I mean, you'll find out. She's about to push someone off a building and be like, aha, see, they come back. Hmm. Most accepted. All right, let's get out of here. Nostalgia. <laughs> I like. Yeah, I like some nostalgia. Farms make the most sense for people who don't have combat training like us. This is why we salvage as many as we can from the mechanical soldiers and convert them for our uses. Yeah, I got some nostalgia, everybody. With this music. I like it. I like the, the, the changes they made this song and making it more like a jazzy type undertone. It's actually really good. I was getting dry mouth from all the talking. Um, this was, I believe, the first year I started this game. This is the Halloween events mount you can get. And if you want, silence and cat. I was very happy with that mountain I got. It was one of the first I got. To alter the memories of the populace with such precision is no small feat. What does she intend to show us? We're supposed to see how regulators work, but how? I'm sorry, but I can't accept the idea of using souls as a resource. So those regulators are the wife I want for getting Namika. For forgetting what a wonderful person she was. Alright. Everyone here? Good. It's, it is the responsibility of Thunderyard's hunters to fell any fiend found wandering the area. Uh, they're doing a great job at it. We're to meet an acquaintance of mine, Strika, one of the, these hunters. You know what? I'm changing it. One second. It's been so long. I love you. But now it's Garnett's time to shine for the rest of the game. What? Eden? Hey. Ah, look, there's a novice hunter. I'm not doing your thing. Sorry, I would love to, but not yet. Defective sentry. Great. Alright. Red Streaka. Judging by the name, I take it this facility is for gathering lightning energy. What do you think's in the box? I'm guessing food. Please don't open the box. You can't handle what's in the box. Given the opportunity, I should very much like to study Electro on behalf of the students. While I'm not blind to the potential benefits of these regulators, the risk inherent in giving another party the power to alter your memories cannot be over overstated. Never f mind the ethical, ethical considerations of using souls in such a fashion. Let's get this over with. Rico, show, uh, show you what life can be with while we're in the regulator. 
Hey, Streaker. We're gonna kill you so you can come back to life. Kachia, what are you doing here? And with so many friends. Apologies for the interruption, but I was hoping they might observe you at work. Hunting, you mean? That's fine, I guess. I like your outfit. Hold on, I assume they were wearing special regulars like Queen's Fiend's crown. But they aren't wearing it. Her crown is a regulator. Well, hmm. It's much too dangerous to be here without one. What well, if they're struck by lightning or attacked by beasts? I can assure you they're all quite capable of looking after themselves. If anything should go amiss, I will take full responsibility. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Danger aside, there isn't much to see. Kachia said you're a hunter, but wouldn't it be easier to, for those mechanical soldiers to guard the place? It would, if not for the fact they're weak to lightning. The Thunderyard being what it is, they've been ordered to steer clear. Some good they are, eh? But these facilities are vital to the upkeeping of Alexandria's infrastructure. So it falls to hunters like me to deal with any fiends. Given the danger, we're well com compensated for our work. It's a perfect profession for anyone looking to build up savings. A special selection of souls for hunters isn't terrible either. I brought this lot here to see the danger you speak of. If it's not too much trouble to ask. Ah, of course. In which case, it'd be a shame to let my efforts on... Let my... Yeah, waste my efforts on just any old beast. You can handle yourselves in a fight, right? And that... If you cause a ruckus slaying what critters you see nearby, there's a chance you'll draw out something worthy of a demonstration. Are you gonna get yourself killed on purpose? I'm not sure I understand, but I suppose we should each slay what we can. Except you. Mr. Hun Mr. Uh, Gleaner. Gleaner. And then, uh, once I beat this quest, I am done for the day. Alright. On to the mounts. Oh, good old Choco. Nice to see you. Red mage armor and all. Your first mount you'll ever get. All right, here we go. Not much fighting this episode. Last story. Oh, a charged bullet hound. All right, let's do this. I killed two. I got two cartridges too. Oh yeah, this amount. I bought for Stormblood. Or during, I forget what. I'm like, oh man, I'd love to play Monk or something and use this. Fun fact, I never played Monk until the end of Endwalker and I'm like, I need a level Monk up. Is this the monster? See what she does.
this song do nicely. Uh, you are a pugilist, a monk. I can tell by the way you're moving. Those are fist weapons. Yep, she's a monk. We'll help you. No, let's stay back. It's fine, really. I face worse. Just watch. It doesn't look good. I don't like the looks of this. Oh no. Look out. Ah. And she's not dead. Everyone give it a second. Well, oh, preserve. She needs healing. No, 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 she's fine. They use the soul as an auto res. I need that. Use all the souls. Does it heal you all the way, though? Or are you still hurt? No, she's getting up fine. That was embarrassing. That bastard caught me off guard. Are you mad? Seriously, let us help. I told you not to worry. This will only take a moment. Overdrive. It's that, yep. <laughs> she has manhandled that thing. Oof, don't get me on her bad side. Did that cost a soul to do? Like Sorolja. Come on, let's get out of here. Well, she seems normal. That it's also a function of the regulator. I don't ask me. Please call it trance. Just give it a trance mode. Just keep FF9 coming. I oh, gotta feel it's gonna be like overdrive. Overdrive. The most generic name. I think I understand how now how Zrojo was able to return from the dead and defeat Papa. But I'm not sure what we saw at the end there. As soon as the regulator turned red, it's as if you were possessed. Your movements became beast-like. Don't tell me. You empowered yourself with the soul of a beast. I'm reminded of a, serpent a, serpentine sol a serpentine soldier we encountered at Vanguard who did the same. So you cross paths one of the king's elite. Such a form can only be achieved by gorging yourself on souls. We could do the same in theory, but it's incredibly dangerous. Besides, not as if they allow hunters to carry that many souls to begin with. How many souls do you have currently? Well, I should be getting back to work. Take care. Okay, so a red beast. And then all the life is just a regular person's soul. And there you have it. Regulars can be loaded with two kinds of souls. Those of peoples and those of beasts. One of life, one of death. The souls of people can be used to grant the user pre pre-natural strength. Naturally, they can also be used to ensure no one suffers an untimely death. And what about the souls of the beast? They work much in the same fashion, imbuing you with strength of the chosen animal. An example 
you use the soul, the soul of the wolf, you will grow more agile and feral, as you saw Strika. Oh, she has the wolf? Okay. Using several of the same type at once, however, will result in physical changes. Your teeth might become fangs, your nails claws, too many, and you'll become more beast than man. Changing one's form through the souls of other beings, it's becoming more and more reminiscent of Void Scent. Yet, yeah, unlike the Void, where the cycle of death and rebirth is simply broken, souls here are forcibly taken before they might reach the ethereal sea. Different means to achieve similar ends. A cycle to which all within the dome are bound. This is wrong. This is all wrong. It is indeed hard to accept, being so far removed from our own beliefs. Perhaps more shocking is that the technology to achieve all this was developed hundreds of years ago. The civilization and the reflections are surprisingly indeed. Surprising indeed. speaks of lived experience that suggests she's far older than she appears. Considering the power of these regulators, perhaps she... Perhaps it's not so far-fetched. No, I, I knew she was older. And her crown, they said, is a special one, so... Hmm. i never seen it for myself, but said the beast soul is potent enough. A single soul is enough to induce a monstrous transformation. When Emic Celt spoke of surprising civilizations and other reflections, I wonder if he had seen Alexandria in mind. Having seen the beauty of the Ethereal Sea firsthand, I simply cannot accept what they've done here in Alexandria. I understand this is part of the culture, but it's no less disconcerting. While we have our thoughts on souls, for now the important thing is we know what powers Rolja has at its disposal. It is one thing to separate corporeal aether from an incorporeal aether, but to strip memories from the souls entirely is unprecedented technology. There's no longer only Tuliola's concern. With this newfound power, Zorolda has become a real debt to the entire world. Indeed, it has to be stopped no matter the cost. A worth worth of a soul. Now I will do this next time. Or I'm gonna get off now. We'll see you next time. And I think we're getting closer to getting in that tower. But until then, I'll see you next time. And good night.